third eye view to all the reinforcement studio. It's the renovated, you can better still say, a reconstructed studio. You can see everything is new. It's a 50 seat capacity studio. On this edition of Web Talk, we give you a bird's eye view of the Douala Reunification Stadium. It's a remake of the 1972 stadium. It has completely been reconstructed and we're going to take you stage by stage, beginning from the entrance here of the stadium. And here, as you can see, is the security checkpoint where everyone enters here has to make sure that uh, he has the access for the ticket. Today is not a match day, that's why you can see the numbers of vehicles here, there are not so many. But the parking space extends to the other side of the stadium. But first, let's see the main entrance of the stadium. Getting into the stadium, there are two security gates. We just entered the first gate there, but this is the second gate that gives you access to the main entrance of the stadium. Let's just continue inside and see how the stadium looks like when you are in front of it. This is the main entrance of the stadium just behind me. You can see how sumptuous it looks. One of the best so far in the country. And uh, I must say this stadium has a completely different look from what it was in 1972. Now let's walk in and see what it looks like. And this is the second checkpoint on match days. It is here that VIPs, players, delegations pass through this scanner to get into the stadium because they must make sure that everyone getting here is safe and also carry any of those items that are not authorized to enter the playing ground. This ultra modern edifice also has a VIP salon. It's a hall which has been equipped to receive very important personalities who come here to watch the match. Let's see how this hall is on the day that there's no encounter. It is here that personalities like the president of CAF, the uh, president of FIFA, or other personalities who come here to watch the match are seated and they have a clear view of the uh, action on the pitch just from this other direction. Just outside the VIP room is where the 14 or some of the 14 cameras that have been deployed to give you minute by minute updates of what is happening on the pitch are placed. As you can see this is just one of the cameras that uh, the thumb in the middle there and at the edge there. Also down on the field there are cameras that give you update on what is happening on the playground. And we continue exploring to tell you how this stadium is. colors corresponding to the areas where these chairs are positioned. Now here we are at the section of the red chair and these are for VIP when this is a presidential section of the stadium with red chairs. But the other side of the stadium where uh, uh, viewers or supporters sit behind the goalpost 
yeah essentially green chairs and on the other side of the stadium just opposite the presidential uh, lodge are the yellow seats but specifically there are also black seats in this stadium these black seats are reserved for media men and women who are accredited to report on what is going on on the pitch on march days not every seat is occupied like you can see on this chair it is written uh, forbidden to sit here because of the COVID-19 barrier measures. This is to ensure that between every two persons there's a distance of at least one meter. So on this section, three seats are reserved and people sit in between the, the three seats. Uh, it is here that commentaries are produced live during the encounter. Even uh, journalists from different media organizations who are not reporting live also take their seats here where uh, today since there's no match we have seen volunteers who are working on the stadium they are taking position to do their last rehearsal unknown match days like this one especially ahead of the quarterfinal phase we've seen that the stadium is being washed and this is the washing machine right here that was a while ago washing the, st the stadium and the field of play is watered so that the grass lawn remains fresh and this watering is done during the half time before every match and even during periods like this when there's no match and this is the tunnel where players walk in and out before every match and out at the end of the match or during the half time and the ball is generally placed here the referee gets the ball before the kickoff of the match and here is the reserve bench it is here that players and coaches sit to follow up the game as they go on on the field of play. And this is the main entrance that players use to get into the field of play and the pasture tunnel I just showed you a while ago. But here it's very important because players on both teams, they are either from this dressing room or this other one. But they pass through the doping control room which is just here to ensure that no player has doped himself before getting into the field of play we now take you to the conference hall it is here that before or every or after every match players grant press conferences it is here that before every match, players and coaches grant press conferences to media men, both national and international, who are covering the competition. And after every match, the man of the match, as well as the coaches of both teams, also speak to the press. And this is just one of the different restoration facilities that are put in place at this stadium because there is also a restaurant and a VIP kitchen that is functional for here at the Bepanda Renovation Stadium and we take it inside the kitchen to see how the thing is how sumptuous it looks right inside. The stadium is also equipped with other facilities to allow uh, Press men to do their work efficiently. Oh, and here it is reserved for the CRTV, and this is the TV production meeting room for the host broadcaster to remind you that CRTV is the uh, channel that produces the signal for the matches here at the uh, Dwala Reunification Stadium, and also have a camera room here. This room is reserved for technicians to check the quality of images that go on the air once the matches are. One way. We are going to move into this room which has been reserved for the CRTV and see how these uh, rooms are organized. Right here you see CRTV personnel on duty in an equipped uh, 
what we call an equipped staff room, equipped with internet facility, with TV screens and uh, different infrastructures been put in place to permit journalists from the national and the international press to carry on their work without any issues. And this is a global view we give you of the Douala Reunification Stadium. We are going to continue giving you updates as things unfold here in Douala. From every second, I invite you to stay tuned to our channel, like, share and subscribe.